Hello again, welcome to Missiani Online Lectures again. Today we come here with uh, a new topic and we are going to study or maybe remind ourselves uh, something from uh, section, properties of sections and central. This is a little bit uh, advanced for colleges and the university, more so the civil engineering part. Uh, Today we are going to look at uh, the most stable member, that's uh, the triangle, how we can design and uh, determine the centroid of that triangle from uh, using moments of area. Let's start with, uh, with the triangle. Uh, let's have a right angle triangle. We can call it, let's, Let's call this the height H. Then the base should be B. Now, if we want to call to get the center of this triangle, you know the center of this triangle is going to be somewhere. This is let's say this is a right angle triangle. The center should be somewhere here, let's say whereby it will have the x uh, axis and the the y axis. So we call this. Let's say this is the the uh, x x bar and this is the y bar. Where they meet here, this is the centroid of this triangle. So. In design, we have to know the, 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 the distance from either from the origin of, uh, from zero to, to this point so that we can be able to determine the centroid of this uh, section. Uh, assume we can, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, indicate here Let's assume this is where the, the centroid is, and uh, this is our x bar. So this is our x bar line. Then uh, we, can, uh, we can consider a strip of area, a finite strip area, call it uh, Delta X. This is uh, Delta X. And then the height of this strip, we can uh, we can call this is uh, uh, Y. Or let's uh, let's give this the height of B. The height of this strip. And then. Uh, the distance we want this strip to move to uh, to the center here, whereby we are going to get the centroid, we can call it x. So the remaining distance from here to here will be b minus x. Now, to find the area of this strip using the second uh, the moments of area, we know delta area of this strip will be dx times the length which is b so it will be b dx but uh, but from similarities and uh, uh, enlightenment we know we have a small triangle here we can uh, we can have a small triangle which is uh, of height uh, B and uh, base X and the other one the, the original uh, triangle would be of a uh, height H and the base is B now since uh, we, we use similarities we can say B over X is equals to H over B so we want to find B 
or we make it the subject of the formula so that we substitute here. This can give us B, capital B, is equals to X, H. So our B will be equal to uh, H, X over capital B. So this is, we take this, the value of B, we substitute here, so we know our area, the area of that string. Now, will be equal to uh, H, X over B, dx. So the next thing now we have to remind from uh, uh, first principle in a uh, uh, moment of area whereby we know that the x bar to find the x bar is given by the integral from zero we are integrating along the x-axis from zero to b of that strip of area times the distance we are moving to to the centroid, the imaginary centroid we are going to to get. So it's x. It will be x times delta area divided by the integral of zero to b of delta area. So this is the same as, this is equivalent to the integral of zero to b of x times the delta area. Delta area is this one. So it will be x times h x over b dx. Everything you divide by, again, 0 to b, integral of 0 to b, delta area, which is h x over b dx. Uh, having done that, we can now h over b h over b, these are constants, we can take them out so that we have something like that h over b integral of 0 to b uh, x times x will give you x squared bx everything divided by we take also h over b out the integral of 0 to b, uh, this remains x dx. So, if we integrate this, it will give us, now this, this cancels out, this two will cancel out. Then if we integrate this, it will be x, x cubed over 3, and then uh, you integrate from 0 to b, divide by, everything divided by, this is the same as x squared over 2, x squared over 2, then you integrate from 0 to b. So when you are moving from 0 to b, you start from uh, the, the highest uh, number, which is uh, b now here in this case, you substitute x by b, it will be now instead of x, you substitute b there. But the next one you substitute 0. 0 divided by any number is 0. So we substitute b here, you will find is b, uh, b cubed over 3 divided by b squared over 2 minus 0 because the other side, if you substitute 0, you get 0. So this is equals to b over uh, b cubed over three 
divide by is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of this uh, denominator. So it will be times 2 over b squared. This is the same as uh, b the two here, this b will cancel one here and then uh, it's like minus in, uh, you, you, sub, you subtract uh, the, the, the powers because you are dividing b p cubed by uh, divided by p squared you will find that this is 2 over 3 b this is the first part that is our x bar so i can write here x bar is equals to 2 over 3 b b is the whole distance but if you take three thirds or two thirds of b from the origin here from here to somewhere here is two over three so our two over three you will get that uh, where that line passes for the x bar now the the next part allow me to erase here to create space for the next part the next section we are going to calculate y bar we'll take the same triangle now uh, with the same uh, height as h the same base b now since we took a, a, a vertical uh, a strip we can now take uh, an horizontal strip so that we integrate that strip uh, of area along the y axis up and down so that it can move to where we are going to find uh, the centroid of our circle let's call this is y then now our y bar will be what we will be uh, looking for. So if we consider that finite area here, we call it uh, the, the, uh, dy, because we are moving around the, uh, the y axis. And uh, let's call this x from here to here. Uh, we can say uh, the area of this section area let's call the da or the area delta area and uh, what we forgot here we can call the, the height of this uh, strip to be b let's extend it out here let's be small b the the height or the 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 the, the base in but here, let's, uh, I call it the height. So, uh, the area of this strip will be given by the height or the distance them start at the uh, dy. So it will be uh, b uh, dy. So from here, we will do the same using. Uh, 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 similarities and enlargement. Now we will be having a smaller triangle here, and also we will having uh, we'll consider the other big triangle whereby the height now will be changing x, uh, which is h minus y. So we can say b. We take b the height of this b over. Uh, h minus y to give you the 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 the, 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 the remaining height of that uh, small triangle is the same as h over b. So if we make b the subject of the formula here, we'll find that uh, b capital B is equals to h 
into h minus y. So we can divide both sides by capital P, capital P here. Then uh, we know we get that uh, B equals to H into H minus Y. So minus Y divided by B here. So the same thing we did, we can take this here and substitute for B. Then we will get the area of that uh, section. So our area. If we take this down here, our D, D area is given by H over B, uh, H minus Y, DY. So this is the area we are going to use. So, y bar our y bar is given by the integral of now we are moving from zero here to h the height h it will be the integral over the moment of area of this strip from h to uh, uh, zero to h of we are moving now y will be y is the distance times area. The area will be h over b h minus y dy divided by uh, this one now will be the integral of 0 to h of just area which is h over b into h minus y dy the same thing we did here h over b h over b these are constants when we take them out they are going to cancel out so we can just eliminate this right here now when we eliminate them we remain with y y terms open the bracket with with y here this will be equals to hy hy minus y squared dy but you are integrating this from 0 to h divide by the same thing here is h minus y dy integrate this to from h to b now if you integrate now you uh, when you integrate this you would find that that uh, we are integrating with respect to y so we are only considering y h is not changing here we have h y squared over 2 Uh, minus now y will be now y cubed over 3 we integrate this from uh, 0 to h that's the the numerator and the denominator now will be also if we, we are integrating uh, with respect to dy we will have h y over 1 which is h y minus y squared over 2 then we integrate this from 0 to h now if we consider this we can uh, we can substitute now h to y so wherever we see y, we substitute h there. Then the next part, we minus 0. Anything minus 0, so 0, we can ignore 0. And take this expression, the numerator and the denominator, substitute with y, so that we get something like h 
uh, h times h squared will give you h cubed over 2 minus h cubed over 3 divide by this will be h squared minus h uh, minus h cubed over 2 so this is the same as uh, half minus a third that is uh, 1 over 6 1 over 6 that's like h cubed over 3 over 6 I mean right divide by everything divide by here if you have h squared minus t is the same as uh, no there is a, there is a mistake here I did here uh, it's h squared here because it's a squared here we substitute here so this is h squared right so if you minus these two is like uh, you get a half of a uh, half h which is h squared over 2 so if you divide this it's like taking the numerator the, the numerator times the reciprocal of the denominator so I can erase some part here up here and uh, finish here yeah. let me use a different color we have h cubed over 3 over 6 times 2 over h squared now 2 cancels out comes here 3 so and the x squared x cubed divided by x squared you will find this is h over 3 so therefore therefore our centroid for this section centroid or the centroid of the center centroid will be given by uh, we start with x bar the centroid will be x bar comma y bar so our our y bar our x bar is uh, 2 over 3 b comma and our y bar is we found this h over 3 h over 3 so this is our centroid of uh, this section the triangle so if you want to know from a design part of you you want to know the center of any given right angle triangle this is the formula so we have derived a formula of finding the center of this section when you are doing a design you want to take the length the base of the if you know the base the length of the base or the height the base should be two thirds from the the far end two two thirds of the base that's where uh, you, you uh, the, the the x bar will be and a third or one third of the height of that uh, triangle wherever they meet will give you the center of that triangle so thank you for watching and uh, see you next time with videos like this please share and give this uh, specific video thumbs up